Welcome to Word Bites, friend, where I share bite-sized messages that bring big-time changes to you. And I am Wumi Ademola. To get rid of sickness, beloved, I told you last week it needs to be dealt with at the very roots. Once sickness is attacked at its roots, automatically healing and health follows. And last time, we talked about the very first root of the primary root of sickness, which is sin. I strongly suggest, friend, that you go back and watch last week's video in case you missed it. There are four root causes that we're going to talk about in all over the uh, course of the next few weeks. So if you missed last week's episode, please go back and watch it. And for your convenience, I'm going to include a link in the description, you know, so that you, for ease of convenience, so that you can click the link and just straight away be directed to the video. But today, let's talk about the second root cause of sickness and is, and is this hereditary sickness or inherited sickness. That's another root cause of sickness. And this refers to sickness that is rooted in a person's genes, which kind of runs in the person's family or is passed on from generation to generation. And that's why you will notice, you know, when you go to the hospital or the doctor's office and they give you the uh, registration forms, the paperwork, one of those forms will include uh, one that is looking for information, your family's health history. It will have a series of questions asking you what kind of disease, kind of, you know, pattern of disease, could be observed in your family. They, so most of the time they're specific. They will say, any, does any relative have cancer, diabetes, heart disease, and on and on and on. And so they suggest, that the thought is this, that if a certain sickness is repeated or reoccurs in a person's family tree or, or lineage, that person, there's a likelihood that that person will have or is suffering from the exact same disease. But I have great news for you in Jesus Christ that no matter what sickness has been running in your family line, no matter what you know, sick genes might be in your body, it can stop, it can be rooted out once you give your life to Jesus Christ. Because the Bible says in 2 Corinthians 5, 17, it says, so then, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old things passed away, including old defective disease genes, they pass away, and behold, new things have come into being. So all things, including old disease genes, pass away, can pass away in Christ, and new healthy genes can come forth in Christ. Because in Christ, you are now part of God's family tree. You have a new lineage. You have a new lineage. The old lineage with its uh, defaults are passed away, and you have a new family tree in Christ. You belong to the household of God in which God himself lives by his spirit. That's what the word of God says in Ephesians chapter 2, 9 and 21. So in Christ, beloved, God offers you, he offers you a brand new bloodline that has no genetical defects or disease whatsoever. Look at what Jesus said in John chapter 6, 54 and 57. He said, for my body is real food. And when you become born again, you become part of the body of Christ, part of the family, part of the being of God. And so Jesus says, for my body is real food and my blood is real drink. So in Christ, you have the bloodline of Christ, no ordinary bloodline. And Jesus says, his blood is real drink. And then he goes on to say, the man who eats my body and drinks my blood shares my life and I share his his just as the living father sent me and i am alive because of the father so the man who lives on me will live because of me and so because of jesus christ the old genes in your body can pass away and the new healthy genes i mean there is no sick gene in the body of christ you see you're you're now part of the body of christ and so in Christ, you can trade off your old body that has genetic defects, disease genes that you inherited from your previous ancestry. 
All this you can claim by faith, not that you're just going to have a, a physical, actual transplant, but by faith, by faith, you can share in the divine life of Christ, which is free from disease and free from sickness. You can boldly declare that what cannot be found in the body of Christ, because you are not part of the body of Christ. So whatever cannot be found in the body of Jesus Christ, because you are now a member of Jesus's body, that thing cannot be found and should not be found in you. And if it is in you right now, you can command it in the name of Jesus Christ to leave your body. It has no place in your body because now you have traded your old diseased body for the body, the healthy body perfect body of Christ. So even though you might have inherited a bunch of diseases from your family bloodline, your biological family bloodline, cancer, uh, diabetes, and the doctors are saying, you know, high cholesterol, that you have a likelihood to have these uh, diseases because they appeared in your family tree, you can boldly say by faith, well, now I'm a new creature in Christ. Now I have a new body in Christ. Now I share the life of Christ. Therefore, I do not have, this is my family history now. Jesus is my family history. And in Jesus, there is no cancer. There is no diabetes. There is no high cholesterol. There's no heart disease. There is no sickness whatsoever. This is what you must claim by faith. It won't automatically uh, happen, but you must, you know, believe the word of God and act upon it by faith. Your new ge ge genealogy in Christ, your new genes in Christ must be activated by faith. It's not going to happen automatically. Jesus said to Martha in John 11, 25 and 26, he said, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, Though he were dead, yet shall he live. In other words, though you were born with a body that is full of death and disease, when you believe in Christ, the power of the Spirit of God by your faith will invade your body, quicken your body, and change out, if you will, those old disease uh, genes and bring in the new healthy genes of Christ. And in 26, Jesus said, Whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. Believe thou this. So believe, beloved, that the diseases that have been running in your family from generation to generation they will no longer run in you and they will not be passed from you to your next generation. But you can by faith stand up and say in Christ, I am a new creature. I am part of the body of Christ. Disease cannot be found in Christ's body. Therefore, whatever disease is in my body now, Though, because Jesus is the resurrection and the life, by the power of Jesus' resurrection, in the name of Jesus Christ, I command all those defective diseases, genes that I was born with, be consumed in the name of Jesus and let my body be quickened and let me live in the name of Jesus. Believe it, my beloved. Believe that you can have a brand new body, brand new genes in Christ. Believe it and you will receive it because Jesus said, all things are possible to the one who believes. I do trust you were blessed today, beloved. Please, if you've not done so, subscribe to this channel. Hit the notification bell so that you can be the very first to know when I drop the next amazing Word Bite video. Next week, we're going to talk about the third important root cause of sickness. So please come back. God bless you. Jesus.